Success one fripicism at a time. Opportunity does not knock once. It knocks all the time. We do not always recognize the sound. I've had the good fortune to be successful in three careers. As a hairstylist, a professional speaker, and now as an executive speech coach. Although they may seem dissimilar, they have many aspects in common. For one, I've had the opportunity to develop relationships with fascinating and often brilliant individuals whom I would otherwise never have met in my everyday life and circle of acquaintances. The best and most memorable education comes from having absorbing conversations with interesting people. Let's go back to 1971. Werner Earhart, who founded Est Training, was sitting in my hairstyling chair. I asked him, what business are you in? He replied, the motivation business. At that point, he was motivating people to go out and sell encyclopedias. A few months later, again, while I was cutting his hair, he told me, I have just attended a course called Mind Dynamics. It was so exciting that I'm learning how to teach it. Although, as he talked, he made the results sound too good to be true, I agreed to attend his first seminar. His bottom line message was very simple. You are responsible for your life, actions and choices. Although my parents did not use those words, they nevertheless raised my brother and me to believe that principle. The seminar pushed the idea from the back of my mind to the front and helped me focus even more than before. At the time, I had no idea that one day I would be speaking for a living and that I'd be passing along Werner's message in my own words and seminars. Werner's course then evolved into what became EST, Earhart Seminar Training. What was it about Werner that we can all learn from? Werner was a showman. When Werner Earhart was at the height of his fame, I was cutting the hair of one of his long-time friends who was in show business. Innocently, I asked, was Werner ever in show business? I'll never forget his reply. No, Werner never was. And yes, Werner always has been. A show business philosophy may be the answer to getting your business message across. Werner made himself an object of interest to others. He built his Est business success by getting many people to talk about him and their experiences at his seminars. He generated an incredible amount of enthusiasm and buzz long before social media. Would you consider yourself an object of interest to others? Werner trained others to teach his message. Werner created a mini empire teaching basic, simple truths that had an impact in people's lives that they could pass along to others. He staffed his organization with excited, dedicated people who believed in what they were doing. Of course, he didn't pay them very much. I know because I recruited several of his former employees. Their low wages were inconsequential to them because they were so excited about what they were doing and who they were doing it with. Anyone who had worked for Est found it easy to work for Fripp. On a personal note, 
When I began work as an apprentice, my father paid for me to train as an apprentice. Even though I made very little money, not much more than my bus fare to get to work, I loved every moment. Most of my jobs were working 100% on commission and took time to build a clientele. It didn't matter. The learning, the experience, the possibilities were much more important than money. The conversations with my executive clients were a great education for an ambitious young woman. Remember, every time you have a conversation, opportunity is knocking. Be sure you recognize the sound.